I'm Emily Long and I'm the clinical intern here. I think there's no way I could do this work like as a clinical intern and a future clinician if I wasn't participating in my own recovery. Um, I also find that I don't want to say that patients smell it on you, but I feel like I earn trust quicker because they see that I've gone through my own trials and tribulations and have come out on the other side able to talk about it. I don't look at uh, recovery as linear, and I think a lot of times it's looked at like you enter recovery and you get better and better and better because you attend 12-step meetings or um, you do individual or couples therapy or family therapy. I look at recovery as being highs and lows, peaks and valleys. Um, so if I have a client that they're doing really great work, sometimes it'll look like they're doing trauma work and then there's a dip in their depression or a dip in their ability to eat food or their desire to use drugs. And I think it's like really meeting the client where it's at and accepting that recovery isn't linear. Sometimes the hardest thing I try to explain to clients is like that it's okay to have the dips. And that's a part of the disease, it's a part of the process, it's a part of treatment and recovery. Because a lot of times you will get patients that believe they have to have that linear growth in order to be considered recovered or in recovery. I also think it's really important to talk the talk and walk the walk. So if I'm at a meeting and I run into a patient it's mixed feelings. It's like, ah, do they, I'm found out, or I get really excited to see that they're pursuing their recovery like they're actually leaving SunCloud. Um, taking our advice and then seeing us take our own advice too.